Okay, so we've built the Ark of the Covenant, right? We've talked about that over the last several days. Um, if you haven't listened to those or watched those videos, you should go back and check them out. They're very interesting. So the next piece of furniture that will go into the tabernacle and eventually into the temple is the table of showbread. It says, then make a table of acacia wood, 36 inches long. So this big, right? 36 inches long, 18 inches wide, 27 inches high. Overlay it with pure gold and run a gold molding around the edge, just like the ark. Decorate it with a three inch border all around, run a gold molding along the border. Make four rings for the table and attach them at the four corners next to the four legs. Attach the rings near the border to hold the poles that are used to carry the table. Make these poles from acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Make special containers of pure gold for the table, bowls, ladles, pitchers, and jars to be used in pouring out liquid offerings. So this table would be in the tabernacle later in the temple and it was where bread was placed daily. There was bread that was placed there. And what it was, it was symbolic of the fellowship between the Israelites and God. Because to share a meal together in that culture was a symbol of fellowship, of unity, of the covenant between two people possibly. If you remember, we talked a little bit earlier in the previous chapter about the elders of Israel actually dining in the presence of God, right? It talks about that God's presence was there among them as they ate this meal. And that was a covenant meal that they ate to kind of seal the covenant between them and, and the nation of Israel. So then there were other things. There were the poles. So it was carried much like the ark was to be carried. And so there were special containers for the table, bowls, ladles, all of these things. So it's a lot like the ark. It isn't as holy as the ark. Um, David at one point will actually take the showbread to eat when he flees from King Saul, and God allows that. Uh, so it's not quite like the ark, but it was a very important piece of um, furniture that they used in worship in there. So we're pretty fortunate because uh, one of the things that we have in history is we have the um, Ark of Titus or the Arch of Titus uh, that was actually constructed in Rome to commemorate the defeat of the Jews in AD 70 when the temple was destroyed and the city of Jerusalem was sacked when the Israelites rebelled. The Jews rebelled against Rome, Rome in AD 70 or a little bit before AD 70 and then the temple was actually destroyed in AD 70. Well, on this arch that they built, they decorated. There's carvings and things in it and it shows us the gold lampstand uh, being taken back to Rome. It shows the, um, the table of showbread and a lot of the instruments and things that were taken from the temple that were solid gold. They were taken back to Rome as as kind of, uh, you know, as they ransacked the place, you know, and they took that as plunder, you know. So uh, it's neat to, to see that. I, I looked up some, um, some pictures and read about that. And so it was, it was put there in dedication to the men that the, the generals that had destroyed the, the temple uh, as a Roman victory. But it kind of gives us a really good historical representation of what these things look like. They're described perfectly in Scripture because what it looks like on the carvings is exactly what the Bible says it looks like. So we can know and see a little bit of the reliability of Scripture there from a Roman, the Rome, what the Romans said it looked like compared to what the Bible said it looked like. They match up. Imagine that. The Word of God is true. But uh, that's the table of showbread, another piece that will go in the tabernacle and later the temple. See you soon.